Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Let's talk to those Krogan over here. Give me a reason. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. I don't care who you are. Female clans don't see anyone, ever. Speaking for the females is an honor, even if it delays my rite of passage. Say otherwise, and I'll kill you. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. You go beyond yourself, Gatatog Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. Heard not Rex has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? <laughs> That is good enough, if lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krantz stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. How is a candidate tested if he brings backup on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior. But each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. We stand with Grunt, as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. What the hell is your issue? What have you got against Grunt? It doesn't matter if one of our own made him. He is a manipulation. He may as well be the genophage in the flesh. The genophage defines the weak. My bloodline will make us stronger. You sound like Rex. Bringing radical change that threatens our core. We have gone too far already. This is about politics. You maneuver like the Citadel Council. Does your Krant also fight with words? You dare slander me in such a way? Impressive. You challenged with words, their natural weapon. And your Krant sees how your position weakens, Uvank. Shaman, you cannot decide in his favor. What about Krogan tradition if you pollute the right? You, you dare. I was a warrior before your mother was born. I speak with the authority of centuries. I decide who is worthy. That is the end of it. I have other means to oppose this. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere, will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the rite, only the candidate and his crant are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial. And he will succeed. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent.
This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures. Like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the Keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the Keystone. Get started, Shepard. Hit the Keystone. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the Keystone. Oh, wait a second, I'm looting. Including the bodies of the fallen Krogan. Seems like kind of a dick move when, when trying to prove, uh, you know, Let's how worthy started, he is. Although, the although knowing the Krogan, they probably consider looting the bodies of the dead to be uh, like the right thing to do because if they died, they are weak, right? First, the Krogan conquered Tachanka and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. Damn it. Okay, this is actually very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing indeed. Stop playing around because 
<laughs> because this is really embarrassing that I'm getting killed by Varim. They literally only attack in melee and are not even that strong. was pretty embarrassing. I'll try to get to do better. Then the Krogan were lifted to the stars to destroy the fears of a galaxy. An enemy only we could chase to their lair. Crawlers, come to your death. We've been spotted. Incineration test. Down. 
tree. Let's test that pistol. It's, uh, it's still the old one, though. Incineration tech. Not Rex was the last. My Krant gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. True. Your alien found weakness in some of my Krant. I wonder. You say you are pure. Okir constructed you? No alien meddling? You're stumbling, Ubank. What's your game? Grot will command much respect now. His strength may be artificial, but it is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. 
You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name, but now you stop ranting because I am strong. With restrictions. You could not breed, of course, or serve on an alien ship, but you'd be clan in name. You talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. I get traditional support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance, too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Uvik, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable, whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. Time for target practice! Oh. Try a real man's well oh. time to die. Got it! Oh. Right on your ass! Incoming! My kin charging! the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher maw fell. Your names shall live in glory. Grunt, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. He has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became Shaman? I gave up my name when I became the Shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tchanka's past. Chanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak, torments the slow, and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you of all aliens would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, 
There will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I passed through rites that made me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. This should come in handy. Grant has joined Clan Erdnot and should be emotionally stable. We'll monitor the Krogan's progress of societal acceptance with Clan Erdnot. Hopefully clan bonds will not interfere with loyalty to Shepard. Data, data regarding Krogan clan politics useful. I must say, the Krogan are not doing themselves many great favors by describing how... Uh, like, he said, once we reach our apex, no one can stop us. Uh, like, no one will be able to stop us and all of the past distraction was actually good. Uh, it sounds vaguely ominous. Like, uh, it sounds like... Because if you say no one be, will be able to stop us, that implies that someone would try, which implies, you know, conquest or something. Because if, if they were just peacefully settling uncharted worlds, uh, why would someone want to stop them? Uh, even if they supposedly couldn't, according to that guy. You don't have the plate to try. You hear that the tank bread and the human killed the pressure mall? Everybody's her. Hasn't been done since Rex himself. You just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a Maw since my turn in the right. Next you'll tell me he's a Quint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erdnot Grunt. Welcome. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. Hmm. Actually, all of this seems like a like a I, un, underground shelter, or maybe a, like a parking lot or a basement. Because look how tall the building is up there. Like, obviously, it would make a lot of sense if you're expecting, like, artillery strikes or whatever. One more win in the pits, and I'm retiring. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. So, you're in charge of Erdnot's scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Class the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. 
Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can't fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If its women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. Thanks for the information. Whatever. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian, poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What's Clan Warlock's reputation, and how are they involved with the blood pack? Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the blood pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it, one of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics, totally devoted to Warlock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members, like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen, only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. What makes Gald so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gald. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. He don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call.
That's a Incoming. interesting son. I am Krogan! Right. I got it. Neutralize. Indeed. Combustion manifold is something that the uh, uh, mechanic at the camp wanted me to get.
Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy, built to withstand punishment. That body, human. Need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles. Track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was? No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. That seems... Uh, you know... Uh, insane and stupid. Because how can you test uh, a treatment for a Krogan disease? using humans, even as a control group. That's, that seems insanely contrived to me. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life, makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal, pineal glands. Modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels. Could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level. Concept testing. Native Tachanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High-level tests on Varen. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. Uh, again, the, the subtitle totally betrayed me, because just saying that using humans is wrong is a non sec feature with the phrase Cerberus is right, because I would have said using any, any sentient species in forced uh, medical experiments is wrong. Uh, humans uh, are just what is mentioned now because she is a human. So once again, the subtitles betrayed me and I am a little bit salty about that. Come on, we still need to find Malin. Agreed. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. Krogan don't generally let people go. What does Clan Werelock have planned? If you walk away now, you can tell your children that you saw Clan Werelock before our blood pack conquered the stars. You think the Erd not impressive? They are pitiful! Warlock Gold will destroy them! The Salarian will cure the Genophage, and Clan Warlock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood! Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. 
It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No, human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan rebellions will become the Krogan Empire. The surviving races will frighten their children with tales of what the Blood Pact did to the Turians. The Asari will scream as their citadel plunges into the sun. We will keep Salarians as slaves and eat their eggs as a delicacy. If you lack the wisdom to flee, then you will be the first of billions to be crushed beneath our might! For Warlock Gold! You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target! Incoming! Feel the blood rage! It's a little problematic that I'm out of ammo for everything. Console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens is still steady. Protein chains. Live tissue. Clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Morden. Not developing. Modifying, much more difficult, working within confines of existing genophage, a hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable, could cause total sterility, malignant tumors, could even reduce effectiveness, worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable, one in one thousand, perfect target, optimal growth. Like gardening. Uh, like, my problem isn't... Because, technically speaking, you know, the, whether you view it as murder uh, has a lot to do on your views on abortion. Uh, whether, you continue, uh, whether you see fetuses as people uh, and, you know, on bodily autonomy and all that, 
Uh, but mostly on abortion. Like, if you see uh, fetuses as people, then obviously he's like a mass murderer. Uh, but my problem is not necessarily with that. I'm generally in favor of people being able to get... A well, mm, my problem is not with that. My problem is with that, but not because it kills the fetuses specifically, but because nobody uh, consented to that. Because generally I am in favor of people being able to get an abortion to a certain, uh, until a certain time frame, which is b best left to scientists to decide, you know, until the, the nervous system of the fetus is not sufficiently developed so that you can reasonably assume that it feels pain, for example. Um, because that's a matter of bodily autonomy. Um, and my problem is not necessarily that, you know, hundreds and thousands, uh, thousands of Krogan fetuses died in itself. My problem is nobody asked those Krogan women if they wanted that to happen and it wasn't their choice it's a massive uh, you know massive invasion of bodily autonomy on the level of the entire species they basically mutilated an entire species without asking them uh, and obviously there's also the, the psychological sort of psychological torment of um, you know them seeing those thousands upon thousands of dead babies, like, uh, you know, even if you don't consider a fetus a person, it's still not good for your me mental health to, like, see thousands of them, uh, you know, miscarried. Pretty it up however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No, murdered no one. Altered fertility prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. Uh, I'm not sure how this lines up with the, the, with the description of the genophage from Mass Effect 1. Uh, because he says... Well, I guess, okay, it does line up, kind of. Because he says prevented uh, fetal development of nervous system. So, technically speaking, those were, uh, those were, you know, fertilized eggs, uh, and there was a fetus inside, uh, but it was, like, genetically flawed uh, in such a way that it never could have developed, and they died. Uh, so, they, they are still dying in the thousands. Like, mm, again, the... The, whether that's murder depends a lot on how you view the personhood of a fetus. But even if it's not murder, it's still very fucked up that the Krogan, you know, uh, have to see uh, and have to live with the reality of, of witnessing thousands upon thousands of dead fetuses everywhere each time they try to procreate. What was it like working on the Genophage Modification Project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No, all changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morden? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices, refuse truce during Krogan rebellions, expand after Rachni wars, splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus, damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. Uh, I wouldn't say this specifically is his fault, although definitely the, the sort of general outlook on life 
uh, that the Krogan developed as a result um, of the genophage didn't help. So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes. United Krogan saved galaxy, destroyed Rachni. Genophage, not punishment, simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. We're not gonna find Malin staring at consoles. Come on. Krogan, female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile, Werelock, female. Willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. I didn't expect you to be disturbed by the sight of a dead Krogan. What? Why? Because of genophage work? Irrelevant. No. Causative. Never experimented on live, Krogan. Never killed with medicine. Her death, not my work. Only reaction to it. Goal was to stabilize population. Never wanted this. Can see it logically. But still unnecessary. Foolish. Waste of life. Hate to see it. I didn't think you'd had much direct contact with things like this. Did you come to Tachanka after dropping your plague? Yearly recon missions. Water, tissue samples. Ensure no mistakes. Superiors offered to carry it on. Refused. Need to see it in person. Need to look. Need to see. Accept it as necessary. See small picture. Remind myself why I run a clinic on Omega. Rest, young mother. Find your gods. Find someplace better. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morden. Genophage modification project altered millions of lives, then saw results. Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races, no answers. Many questions. Sounds like you were trying to deal with your guilty conscience. The doctor killed millions. Modified Genophage project great in scope, scientifically brilliant, but ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral, tragic, not guilty, but responsible. Trained as doctor, genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill, still caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. Can you really just rationalize it all away? How do you justify it? Wheel of life, popular Salarian concept, similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation, appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life. Learn, adapt, improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix cannot end here. Could do so much more. If you need this much soul searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Brachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase, all pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from galaxy. I don't agree with the genophage, obviously, but I think it's interesting that uh, Shepard, specifically, seems to consider uh, fetuses people, right? He says about he talks about murdering millions, why, why, while uh, uh, Morden. Uh, clearly does not. He says, I just altered the fertility. I didn't kill any people. Um, and it's a bit annoying to me that there isn't a way... Because, like, I agree with the fact that the genocide is wrong. I mean, not genocide. Genocide is also wrong, but I mean the genophage. Um, I agree with the fact that it's wrong, but uh, I would have liked... I would have liked to be able to put more emphasis on like the violation of the Krogan who were affected by it and not necessarily on the fact that oh you've killed millions of Krogan by killing their fetuses uh, because you know as I said I am for the right of people who want that 
to have an abortion. Uh, and you, if you think the John of Age is mass murder, uh, then you can't be for abortion because that's a quote unquote pro life view that, you know, those Krogan fetuses are people and by not letting them form fully and be born, uh, you're killing people. Uh, I don't necessarily agree, but I still think the Gen of Age is wrong uh, because, you know, it violates the adult Krogan that were affected by it. You could have cured the genophage instead, brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy. Bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion. Only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives. War would have ended. Look at the dead woman, Morden. It doesn't look like you saved her. No, it doesn't. Worked with available data. Only option. No other possible. Doesn't matter. This is valuable. Chief Scout told us to watch for you. We've taken out the guards. Get back to Erdnot. I can't. The Warlock did things to me. Drugs. Injections. Said I was sacrificing for the good of all Krogan. Experiments to cure the Genophage. Everything's blurry. Hard to think. I have to stay. Morden, can you get him back on his feet? Stims, maybe? Something to bolster his immune system? You don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, then I mattered. Millions of children will be born. Warlock children. They're going to destroy the other clans. But... No. No, they said I was helping Erdnot. If you want to help Erdnot, you need to get back there. But it would take a real badass to make it back to camp while injured. I can do it. You? I said a badass, not some scout whining like a quarian with a tummy ache. I can do it. I'm up. And I'm going to the female camp. Damn right you are. Get back there and show them what you're worth. Go. Go. <laughs> Nicely done. Fortunately, subject is unlikely to be contagious. Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot could cause a significant explosion. Or a well-placed shot. Just the thing to help. Simple enough. Got it. Making contact! Feel the blood rage! Close combat! Problematic! 
this. Mela, alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. 
For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student! I looked up to you! Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. Why work with Clan Warlock? And how did you access the Genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warlock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Erdnot has a larger camp than Warlock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Warlock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. I think this is a bit contrived because it seems to me th there probably would be plenty of volunteers even if uh, you know if you didn't want to do forced experiments because uh, most Krogan they don't even really want to live they are so depressed that uh, they are they are throwing themselves at wars and you know pointless activity mercenary work just to do something because they don't believe they have a future so i think there would be uh, plenty of actual volunteers for the experiments uh, um, even within clan erdnod like you don't need i don't think you would need to go for a forced experiments uh, route But, but then obviously the whole quest wouldn't make sense because I wouldn't stop him. If he was working for Erdnot and only using volunteers, I would even help him along his way because I think the genophage should be cured. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morton, did you ever perform experiments like this? No. Never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That'll be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. Uh, to, to be honest, uh, the, the, uh, the, the voice lines, the dialogue options for this quest make Shepard a bit bipolar. Because first, if you go the Paragon route, he's like, oh, Morden, you've committed genocide by killing thousands upon thousands of Krogan fetuses. Uh, uh, and you know the genophage is wrong which i do agree with the latter part but here simply by asking questions and again the, the summary doesn't really tell you what he's going to say um j just by asking the, about the results of the cure uh, he's taking the stance that oh no it's actually a mistake to cure it because uh, you know there will be war with the krogan or whatever it does sound him it, it does make him sound a little bit insane Malin clearly doesn't need rescuing. What do you want to do? Have to end this. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait. You don't need to do this, Morton. You're not a murderer. 
No. Not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out. No warlock left. Project over. You heard the professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, professor. The genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me, Morton. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. So many variables, stress responses, impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research, only loose end, could destroy it. Closure, security. Still valuable, though. Uh, his research was sick, uh, but that's, uh, that's besides the point. I talked already in the past about how I think once the deed has been done, uh, you, you're not going to... You know, destroying it because it was produced in an unethical way doesn't actually right any wrongs that have been committed by doing this, and you can still use it uh, for good purpose. You know, to cure the genophage. I, I don't think anything would be accomplished by destroying it, and in fact, I do actually think the genophage should be cured. So uh, that's a good stepping stone. If you think it could be useful, why not hang on to it? Worked for years to create modified genophage. Should destroy this. Malin's work could cure genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. You regret what the Krogan have become. You see the horror of what they did here, but you see the loss, too. Wasted potential. They don't deserve this, Warden. Save the data. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure, but closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. Um, is there anything else here? Like upgrades? Because I'm worried that if I stay, I'll have to trek all the way back? Nah, what the hell. I'll risk it. I'd like to look around a bit more. Uh, yeah, for example, there is a computer here. Uh, press and hold F to, to end the mission. Um, okay, so at least I can do that. Um, okay, I think I'm ready to go. Troubled by clan, clan Warlock's progress towards the Genof Genophage cure without Cerberus' knowledge, cure data may prove useful. Krogan dangerous, but if recruited as shock troops against the Reapers, extremely valuable. Mordin's assistant no longer a problem. Mordin will have no trouble focusing on the mission. Okay, I have a couple of minor things. To do here, mainly talk with the scout. Clan Erdnot has increased his strength after the destruction of Clan Warlock. Based on population profiles, Clan Erdnot has adopted surviving members of Clan Warlock, mostly women and children. Ah. One of the children, probably five years from the right. Here you killed a Thresher Maw. Impressive. Child. My son. Like tackle the bear. It was good. Place your bed on the pits, human. We won't regret it. My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. 
Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. Talk to you later. The pits have been a bloodbath ever since Earth's handler was exiled. Welcome to the clan, or not grunt. Honored to be a part of it. Yeah, well, make yourself useful. You're in the shit now. I found a combustion manifold out in the field. Is this what you need? That'll work. Faster than building one from scratch, at least. You just saved me three days' work, human. You burn my time if you want it. What's that you're working on there? I'm tuning up these machines for battle. It's a wonder this Tomka here made it back to camp. It could be worse. A couple more hits on the broadside, and this thing would have crumbled. Krogan's placed so much importance on martial strength. How did you become a mechanic? How do you think those fools make it to the field to kill each other? Who do you think keeps the weapons working? Without me, there's no battle, just slaughter. I am the military might of Clan Erdnaught. How do you feel about what Rex is trying to do? The old man's crazy if you ask me. Which you just did. But that stuff fixes itself. If it doesn't work, Rex gets torn to shreds and we find out who's got the next best plan. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. As I understand it, Clan Erdnot has a new member. So... You're our new warrior. The shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass up my work as his reward. Use them well. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot has no time to make replacements. But perhaps I can offer a discount. Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have bought the other things then. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Uh, I guess I can buy this. Now, what's this? For those of my companions who use assault rifles. Don't touch anything. Ignore them. They're not worth the effort. Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We're making a neutral ground where all clans can share resources and fertile females. It's a new day for the Krogan. We shall rise again. I wanted to see if I can ask him about Werelock and uh, the Turn of HQ, but I can't. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Hunt well, Shepard. Okay, this episode has been long enough, in fact a little too long, but I wanted I wanted to wrap up uh, Morden's mission as well, I didn't want to stop in the middle of it. So that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!